Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today, we are going to go over one of my savings challenges. If you're new here, please take a second, hit that subscribe button down below. Guys, if anybody, if you'd like notification of the next time I post a video, make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Smash that thumbs up button, please. And if you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear them down below. So I started way too many savings challenges going into 2022. I think I have like seven or eight of them going on right now. I'm struggling to find money in my budget to stuff all of them, but I wanted to be able to save some extra money. So I got to thinking and I came to, decide, came to realize that after watching something that the budget mom had done was that, you know, there is a such thing as a cash savings challenge where you take from your cash funds, not from your budget. So it's about looking at what you have in your cash funds and being able to save it to the side. So that's what I've decided to do. The month of January was the oh crap moment when I realized I didn't have enough to be able to continue stashing my funds. February, I still went ahead and stashed all my savings challenges a little too much, but I also started a my cash savings challenge. I live in Northeast Florida, so I set mine to be if the temperature was under 60 degrees. Well, for some reason, I thought that was going to be a good idea. It wasn't. Um, instead, I only got to save five dollars. We were over sixty. Honestly, we were in the seventies and eighties most of the month of February. It was great for my tomatoes. Don't get me wrong, great for my tomatoes, but it didn't do anything for my savings challenge. So, we went into March, and I decided to do a no spend savings challenge for March. I don't know about you. I personally have an addiction to um, frozen coffees. I know, shame on me, right? But I do. And I've come to realize that Dunkin's frozen coffees are, are really starting to cost me both financially and around the waistline. So I decided to let go, try a no spin challenge where the only coffee I have now is coffee I make at home. And then uh, that's it. I do not resist that urge and that temptation to roll on through the drive through at Dunkin to get that frozen coffee because that's money I'm trying to save. So Last week, oops, things are falling. So last week I did really, really good. I was able to not purchase, or I should say the first week of March, I was able to not purchase. Um, I printed a Budget Mom envelope that I really liked. It's where I store all of my cash savings challenge. I intend on using this for the whole year. And then I also have stickers. They're donuts. I thought it was extra cute. Why not put a donut on something for Dunkin' Donuts, right? Although it, I don't have an addiction to donuts. I don't even like their donuts, but their frozen coffee. Oh, so in the, in the, the need to resist that temptation, oh, let's see how well we did last week. So Monday, um, what happened Monday? Um, it was just a pretty good day. I don't even think I thought about it once. Tuesday, again, did pretty good. I did not stop by. Wednesday's my hard day. Wednesday I have to drive out to a school and in that drive either to or from, oh, I often stop at Duncan. That's, that's, Wednesday's my rough day. But you know what guys? We made it through Wednesday. Yay! Then came Thursday. Now Thursday, I did not buy a Duncan. Instead, I bought lunch out. <sighs> Spent the money. Maybe I shouldn't have, I don't know, but I did. So, but I didn't get a frozen coffee and that's what matters. So that was the 10th. And then Friday, guess who didn't buy a frozen coffee again? Yay! Now we did make lots of coffee all week. I made a, a, I have a mini pot. I made a mini pot every morning. Most mornings I fill up my thermos, my extra large Yeti cup and I take it to work with me and slowly drink it throughout the day. So I did have coffee every day, but I did not purchase, I did not spend that extra money. So I now have to find $5 to be able to put into my monthly cash challenge. So let's start looking and see who's got cash in it. Um, fast food, I can pull a five. Gas, all that's in there is my 50. Yeah, it's not gonna come out of there. So let's put that. Groceries. Do I have any $1 bills in groceries? Nope. All I have is a 50. It's not coming out of there. Not taking for my son's allowance. Paper products. Oh, I got some ones in there. Ones and fives. Okay. Pet. Do I have any ones? Nope. Just a five. We'll leave Sophie's stuff alone. Me cash. 
Oh, all I have is five. That's my lowest. I'm not taking from the RV. Toiletries. Let's see. And I've got a one in there and then a 10. So reality is I would have taken the $6 out of fast food and put it in here, but because I spent it on lunch on Thursday, I'm just going to kind of stuff that back in there because guys, I have a week and I have $10. We were naughty on fast food this week. So, um, not certain how that's going to play out, but definitely I'm not going to take anything extra from fast food. So that leaves paper products, toiletries, and cash. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and take it out of my $5. Um, I should still have, I have plenty in here. So I'm definitely just going to pull the whole five out of my cash and not worry about pulling it out of anywhere else. And next week when I do this, we will find some more monies. Let me stuff my five bucks in there. And just oh, one more savings challenge and I am reaching those goals. Now, I have to tell you this week is spring break. I don't see me buying a frozen coffee at all this week. So I think I'm going to get to save another $5 and I'm going out of town. So oh, I'm really hoping that all, it's all going to be good. See, the problem is that when I go out of town, if we leave my dad's house and go shopping, I might, I, I might, I'm going to have to really resist the temptation if we go out shopping because, well, that's just something that we do when I go to my dad's house. We all go out and we swing by and pick up something we shouldn't pick up. So I have to resist that temptation next week and just say no thank you and just be making coffee at their house. So we will see how the rest of this week goes, but last week, phenomenal. If you have not already, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Bye, lovelies.